From being extremely sure he'd be going on the grid in 2024 to outright rejecting anyone who'd like to take him on, here's everything Daniel Ricciardo has said about his plans in Formula One. But first, how the heck did we even get here? Danny Rick started out in F1 with the HRT team in 2011. Now, this team wasn't the best. In fact, it was pretty much at the back of the grid. But hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? Now, of course, the new guy didn't show the best results in his earlier days, but he impressed the right people just in time. And because of that, he was called up to Toro Rosso in 2012. Now, on his debut, Ricardo managed to get points and showed just how good he was. And he impressed everyone in 2012 and 2013. So now, the man was asked to replace Mark Webber at Red Bull once he retired. Then, in 2015, Danny Rick became the team leader. However, Red Bull's engine manufacturer, Renault, now known as Alpine, on the grid had trouble adapting to the turbo hybrid era. Because of this, he and his team could never make it to the top, and he had to watch Mercedes win again and again. But the real trouble started in 2016, and by trouble, I mean a young Dutch lad that went by the name of Max Verstappen. Honestly, for two years, this wasn't that big of a problem, but then Max started getting really good. This meant that the team was now his, and Daniel, who was used to all the attention, would have to be relegated to the second seat. And that was pretty much the beginning of the end for Ricardo and the team. You see, Daniel made a mistake. He left Red Bull because he wanted to be a first driver. Now, Red Bull couldn't give him what he wanted because, frankly, while they made good cars, their engines were pretty unreliable. And you know how I mentioned that Renault was the one making those engines? Well, Danny Rick decided to join the very team that couldn't give Red Bull a solid engine. This meant that his reliability woes continued even after jumping ship. The two years at Renault were bad, yes, but they were nothing compared to what was to come his horrible, horrible stint at McLaren. So the guy left Renault very publicly in 2020 and raced with McLaren for the 2022 season. And man, oh man, was that horrifying. For the first year at the Woking based team, the guy finished P8 at the end of the season, while his younger, less experienced teammate Lando Norris finished P6. This was a huge blow to his reputation, cause like, you have one guy who was once touted as a future champion and now he's being beaten by a kid? Things weren't any better in 2022 either. They got way worse. The Honey Badger finished P11 while Lando finished P7. This wider gap meant that there was no place for him at McLaren. No, scratch that. There was no place for him on the grid. While he did have some options like Haas, he didn't want them. And now the man's a reserve driver at Red Bull. It doesn't seem like he's making a comeback anytime soon. Daniels revealed that he won't be returning to the grid just for the sake of it. If he comes back, he's gonna come back with a darn good team, a team that's actually got a shot at the title at some point in the future. Now, the thing is, Ricardo has been worn down trying to extract as much performance from McLaren as he could. And while you can blame him, kind of, for not being as good as Lando, you have to admit the guy had a terrible car. Yet, at the same time, Red Bull team principal Christian Horner has claimed that the guy is in good shape, he's kept himself well, and he's kept himself fit. Horner has also claimed Ricardo is training hard and he's ready to drive whenever given the chance. Oh, and fun fact, at least on the sim, he has been doing a darn good job. While the sim isn't exactly like the real world, this goes to show that he still has some of that magic left in him. Apparently, Horner states that Daniel is getting back to the Daniel that he knew who was fighting like crazy at Red Bull. But like, this brings up a very important question. What does Daniel Ricardo himself have to say about all this? Well, one thing's for sure, he will not return with a struggling team. Ricardo made a fiery statement stating, I don't want to go back to ground zero. He also claimed, I don't want to just be on the grid to be on the grid and struggle in 18th place. I don't want to be on the grid at all costs or at any cost. He admitted that it's not going to be easy to jump right into a top team, especially since there doesn't seem to be an opening elsewhere, but more on that in a bit. For now, what you need to know is that Daniel's in a tough spot, but that's exactly what he likes.
because according to him, these are exactly the kinds of situations where he thrives. Plus, he really doesn't want to lose any of the hunger and motivation that he's got. He's pretty sure that all he wants right now is to be able to race at the top, nothing else. That's what Daniel thinks about the entire situation. What do other people think? Well, Gunther Steiner, the team principal at Haas, stated that there are a lot of teams that would be super interested in the Aussie. But let's be real, it's a little too early to talk about all these things. It's usually summer when the driver's merry-go-round ensues. Interestingly though, while Daniel rejected Haas for 2023, Steiner says he'll still be keen on talking to the guy. That is, if one of his two guys don't get the job done this season. Yikes. That's a lot of pressure on Magnussen and Hulkenberg, isn't it? So it turns out Steiner likes the guy, but he's not the only member of the Ricardo fan club. Ross Braun, Formula One managing director, has also claimed that Danny's actually got what it takes to be a world champion. And let's be real, he's not wrong. Braun called Daniel a brilliant driver. He also called him one of the very best in F1. Braun mentioned that if the guy had a good, solid car, he would have been winning for sure. You know what's kind of interesting though? Red Bull has a car that can win. And after all, Danny Rick is in Red Bull. So is that something that can happen? Can he be a full-time driver for the team? Let's see what Daniel thinks about it. He's plain that he's really happy where he is right now. And when asked about whether he'll eventually replace Sergio Perez on the team, he played down the possibility of that happening. The man insisted that he actually wanted some time off from the sport, and that for now, he's happy to assist the two main drivers to ensure they get the best out of their cars. Now, of course, his fans really do love the idea of the guy driving at Red Bull, so it's something they've brought up time and time again. A lot of folks really do believe that he's going to be the one that replaces Sergio in the team. But honestly, he himself has claimed that he's going into all of this with the mindset that he's here to help the team, nothing more. On top of that, even Christian Horner has denied the possibility of this happening. He stated that there were going to be quite a lot of commercial activities that he'll be performing. He'll also be attending some races, he'll do testing, and he'll be working on the sim. That's pretty much it. He really doesn't have all that much on his mind. But then again, you can't really publicly say that you're looking to replace one of your drivers. We all know how secretive and abrupt the market for drivers is in this sport. So we'll never know what happens, because for now, what you need to know is that Max is contracted with the team until 2028, and Perez is contracted with them till the end of 2024. So if not Red Bull, is any other team down to take him? Well, there's Mercedes. What you've got to remember is that the Silver Arrows do have a contract that's expiring at the end of the season. The problem with that, however, is the fact that that's Lewis freaking Hamilton's contract. Chances are, if he wants to race, the seat is his. Only if Hamilton chooses to retire, Mercedes might consider Ricardo. But like, what are the odds of that happening? Then there's Aston Martin. Again, Alonso is contracted till the end of 2024, and you can forget about the second seat on the team. It's literally occupied by the owner's kid, so he's going nowhere. So, um, Ferrari? Nope. Both drivers are contracted till the end of 2024. It seems that he's most likely not even going to be on the grid in 2024. So from outright rejecting anyone who'd like to take on to being extremely sure he's going to be on the grid in 2024, here's everything Daniel Ricciardo has said about his future plans in Formula One.